When it comes to software features of graphics cards, uh, such as you know video recording, instant replay, uh, video file size versus quality, in-game overlays, performance metrics, uh, fan speed control, you know, all that sort of stuff, how does AMD fare against NVIDIA? Uh, what would I be missing with an AMD card than if I had an NVIDIA card? Hmm. I don't think there's much there, is there? Yeah, so I'm assuming with this, when you mean software features, you don't mean things like DLSS because we've covered that many times. And this is more like the driver features, how video recording works and all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, my opinion at the moment, I'm sure you'd share the same opinion, is that AMD's actual software control panel is significantly better than NVIDIA's in terms of usability, usability, and, yep speed of just accessing things. The fact it's not split between two different utilities, doesn't require a login. I think those are all pretty significant benefits of the AMD mm -hmm. software system and just using it, I've always found to be much nicer mm -hmm. than the NVIDIA solution. The NVIDIA solution has a lot of features, so it's not like a lot of those features that you're talking about, like recording instant replays aren't there on the NVIDIA platform. It's just that AMD has put them all together into a much more modern package. I don't think that's necessarily a reason to buy their graphics cards though, it's just a nice bonus. I think for things like video recording, um, yeah, I'm planning to look into that more in depth to really get into the encoding quality of these cards at some point in the near future. Um, I'm working on a few other things at the moment that are sort of taking priority over that. And I did see, I think it was PC World or one of those publications did a written piece where they compared the encoding qualities in quite a substantial number of tests and found the usual thing that people have found for quite some time, which is that at least for popular codecs like H.264, that AMD still doesn't have the same image quality for mm -hmm. you know the final video output compared to NVIDIA and even Intel. So that is of a concern, but as you got to the more modern technologies like AV1, it was a bit closer there. So um, yeah, I think that is probably still going to be the case these days. Again, like I said, I'd love to test that more in depth to, to see where the strengths and weaknesses lie. But I think for video quality, you'd probably still be better off getting an NVIDIA card. But I've had no problems using the AMD features in terms of you know having things like instant replay, AMD supports that, having quick and easy access to recording games and desktop apps. AMD is very easy at doing that, as, mm -hmm. as easy as NVIDIA, I would say. So, you know, all those features are definitely there. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, there's a few edge cases where either brand has lead. As I said, I think AMD has the better software utility. NVIDIA's got things like DLSS, a bit better video quality for their encoding and, you know, things they've, well, they've got their new super resolution video feature and things like that. So again, those are probably where the, the things yeah. lie. Basically, if you're not a streamer, I think there's very little difference. Uh, and most people yeah. who I've heard from, whether they're in a Discord community or just people I know in you know, person, whenever they've gone from a, an NVIDIA GPU to an AM GPU, they're always shocked by how well it works, especially more recently, and how good the software is. That's yeah. generally what I hear is they're quite shocked that it's as good as it is and that yep. it's the, yeah, so. They do have some unique things over time. Like I think there's some things where they've been second to that I'd like to see AMD maybe work on a bit Quick, more quickly, mm -hmm. things like their um, RTX voice obviously came out from video GPUs well before AMD's noise suppression technology, but they do have that feature now. Mm -hmm. So it is sort of a, their competitor's feature is there. Um, you know, they've had things like Radeon Boost, Radeon Chill, which I know some people are fans of, where it's very easy to, you know, optimize the power consumption of cards and frame rate target control, whatever it's called, those sort of FPS limiters and things, you know. They put a lot of time and effort into those features and sometimes have been first to those. So yeah, it's yeah, I think the feature set generally is pretty good on AMD GPUs, but it really is those like I don't know, what would you call them? Like the 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 leading features. Things like DLSS, they're behind yeah, big, it. the big headlines. DLSS stuff. frame generation, they're behind it. They were behind mm -hmm. they were, they were late to RTX voice. You know, they haven't got a the video super resolution feature. NVIDIA Reflex, they've sort of half competed with things like that it's it's those sort of things where i you know i'd really like to see amd have some sort of killer feature like something you need an amd gpu for it that is really impressive is not an nvidia that you'd go wow i'm missing out not having that and i feel like they haven't really had that but in terms of the package it's not too bad mm -hmm.